How about the last two? Compare the purpose of formative and summative assessments and recognize the value and limitations of self-assessment. Uh, so these are very well described in the reading from CMU's very own Eberly Teaching Center, uh, which is run by Marsha Lovett, a cognitive psychologist. Um, I'd like you to take a look at that reading and try to answer these questions. What are the definitions of formative ass summative assessment and the definition of self-assessment? For each, what are, their, what are some examples? And what are their advantages and disadvantages? Or what value do they have? And what limitations do they have? Uh, and then here you can compare your thinking uh, to the following. Uh, formative assessment has the advantage that it aids learning. That's its real value. But it is less secure. Cheating is easier on it. So it's less good for a summative reporting out to say, future employees about what your students know, or, for example, for selecting, uh, let's say, uh, athletes to move on in a competition. In that case, when you want to use this for communication, assessment for communication or selection, you perhaps want a more secure, and, and uh, not mentioned here, but more reliable, uh, form of assessment, and those are summative assessments. Trouble with summative assessments is uh, often they're uh, given uh, too late in, in, like at the end of a course, to really influence student learning. I should hasten to say they can be used to give feedback for the instructor and the instructional designer. How about self-assessment? Again, go to that reading to see the definition. Essentially, uh, the idea is students is, uh, assessing themselves. What's the value of self-assessments? Well, it can aid learning by giving students a, a better sense of the relationship between their learning goals, their learning outcomes, the behaviors associated with the learning uh, goals they were seeking. It is uh, limited, however, in the fact that sometimes students may incorrectly believe they know something when they do not, or even conversely, but this is less frequent than think they don't know something when they do. So that's our quick summary uh, of those learning objectives. And this every reading is quick, but you should definitely uh, understand the difference between formative assessments being used to uh, aid learning and give students and teachers feedback on progress, and summative assessments being used more for grading. Um, also be aware of the idea of student self-assessment.